Hi, so please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Dr. Alex Carterson. I'm the Divisional Vice President of Medical, Scientific, and Clinical Affairs, as well as Health Economic Outcomes Research in Core Diagnostics at Abbott. So what's happening here? Everybody's wearing a mixed reality system here. Yeah, so we're uh, testing out and demonstrating our new mixed reality he headset in collaboration with Blood Centers of America, Abbott and BCA have come together as a way to promote blood donation as to make a fun donation experience for particularly those donors under 30 um, and giving them an experience that's fun and relaxing. So relaxing because some people are a little bit nervous? Oh yeah, first time donors can, can tend to be a little bit nervous. Some people may be anxious about what's happening with the donation, things like that. Putting on the uh, augmented reality headset you plant a garden, there's waterfalls, there's soothing music. You get engaged with what you're seeing in the augmented reality that you kind of forget what else is going on and it takes you your mind off of it. Do you the level of anxiety that the we user don't. has? So you don't we have don't. a sensor. So it's, no, it's, it's individual not adaptive for everybody to, else. It's not adaptive. You relax everybody, not just the Everybody people. is an equal relaxation yeah. opportunity. But what it really does is it also allows us to then go ahead and um, engage those younger donors. Uh, in the past 10 years, about 30% of the under 30 donor has been lost to the population. As donors age out, we need to replace those donors because currently only 3% of the population is currently donating. So this is a way to engage those younger donors, have them have a great experience, and make them recurrent returning donors. it's important to donate the blood because otherwise it's a big problem in the healthcare it is. system, right? Yes, it's one of the biggest things that people need is blood. Every two seconds, somebody's in need of a blood transfusion. So obviously to have that sustainable, we need to have a, a robust donor population. And maybe it should just be compulsory. How about that? Oh, I don't. Oh, and if you don't want to give your blood, you pay a little bit more tax, 1%. One, 1% one oh gosh, I'm not going to comment on the politics of that, but I think it's great that here we have a voluntary blood donation system. This is one way that we're trying to encourage people to donate to make sure we have that sustainable Because it's not system. only blood, there's all these other things there's, that, a, uh, there's, there's organs, there's uh, other things that uh, in the are in need. In the United by States, that's all voluntary. So yeah. we're looking at other applications that potentially could happen, but you're right. We always are looking for more people to donate organs and to donate blood and tissue. Are, are you doing this only in the US or are you encouraging so other countries? So, currently, right to do now, this? we have 12 centers that are currently using the augmented reality platform. We're looking this year to expand both in the US as well as internationally. 